Hey everybody, Tony from Shooting Star SVG back, and tonight this is me going over what you should do to prep your designs and SVGs for different cutting programs. And today we're going to go over Cricut Design Space. If you haven't already, um, and this is your first time here, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below so you get updated when I create new videos. I want to see you guys grow your business and change your life for the better. I am trying to provide you all the information you need to be successful in this game. So if you saw my other video, I went over a bunch of different files in Silhouette Studio. Um, all of them were very cuttable. Cricut Design Space is where things usually get fun. So. Before I started this, I went ahead and uploaded all of these files. Um, and I'm not going to go through the shops this time, but I will link them below if you are interested in any of the files because some of them are very cute. And uh, it's always nice to support your local sister or brother who are in the same game because remember, while we are all selling similar things, we are in this together and should help each other grow. Anyways, let's get right into it. So for this, I'm going to click on upload. I'm going to go to the first test image. And this is just going to show you uh, three sets of text, one that I did not convert to path, one and two that I did, one unionized, one not unionized. I'm going to go ahead and click on open. Um, you can see here it says the uploaded SVG contained the following items that are not supported, text elements import anyway. Go ahead and click on continue. What's going to happen is you're not going to see that top text because I did not convert it to a path. I'm going to go ahead and click on save. And I'm going to open this up in here and it's probably going to open really big it sure did i'm going to change the position to zero and zero and i am going to change the size of this to five by five there we go and you can see that this is what this looks like if I click on make it, <clears throat> you can see that the text that was unionized is going to all cut together. The text that was not unionized will not. Okay. You can see all this was unionized. So that's a problem. If you don't unionize your text, it will look like this. So if you click on this, you can just click on weld and then you're going to get the same result. All right. That's all I wanted to show you here. If you do not convert your text to a path and somebody does not have that font loaded in their program, it will not show up. <clears throat> okay. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all this. And I'm just going to show you the other test file. It looks like there are text elements that are not supported. I literally used Arial font, which I thought was on here, but it's not. So <clears throat> my bad. We'll go ahead and put this in here. And uh, basically what I have here is zero, zero. <clears throat> and what we have here is three sets of shapes. I have one that was unionized, which is this right here. And then let me go ahead and ungroup these. Then I have these two files here, which are not subtracted so they're just two circles you can see that here on the left hand side and then two that are separate so when i click on make it you'll see that this full circle will just cut out and then the half circle that is subtracted from this other circle um it can get a little bit tricky when you're using design space but i just wanted to show you kind of what that would look like if you just did that and opened it up in the program so with that being said we'll get into the other files which i have already uploaded here and uh we'll go ahead and get into it okay um like i said i went ahead and uploaded all these so i'm just going to go ahead and start with these pantry labels and insert this and let's see do, do, do. Oh, perfect. It opened nice and tiny. Each one is separated into whatever word they are. I can expand this if I want to. If I want to ungroup it, I can. Or I can click on make it. And it's just going to cut all these things out and help me save as much final as humanly possible because that's what Cricut Design Space does. So 
Great job. That one opened up fantastically well in design space. I would presume that these Honeymoon Vibes one will also, it was created by the same person. And if you can see here, these are um, welded together, which is grayed out. And if I click on Make It, it will cut like it needs to cut. So good job. Those both open up well in each program. So, all right, let's go to the next one. Now, we know that this one had a bit of an issue with Silhouette Studio because these were not separated. Whereas here, in Cricut Design Space, it maybe isn't so bad if you're line layering uh, uh, vinyl over vinyl. Here's the beauty of uh, Cricut Design Space. If I just leave this the way it is and I click on Make It, it's going to sort it into color because that's what it does, which is nice. So it doesn't really matter where there's are placed. But if you're layering the vinyl, which is the purpose of this, this isn't going to work. So I do recommend slicing, okay? And then what you're going to take these ones away. And then you're going to take these two brown ones and you're going to weld them together and you'll get your text back. But what's going to happen now is when you move it away, it'll remove from that. And then when you click on make it, you'll see that it's going to cut the vinyl out where those words are going to lay down, um, which will make it more of a flat, uh, a flat cut. Again, I'll post up in the video, a video above, um, a video on layering and what that looks like. So, okay. Uh, overall though, not a bad job. I just would do a few things differently if it was me. So I'm going to open up the second one from this shop and this one's going to cut perfectly fine as I anticipated based off of opening it in silhouette. Um, the only thing is, is for the layering, you know, you might want to consider adding in like maybe a tutorial on how to layer. It's not a lot of people know how to do that. That one looks great. Okay. Here we go. A Meowica. Man, all these are opening really good. I know when I designed mine in uh, Inkscape, they open up like super uh, big. Okay, great. So we have our white layer, our black layer, our blue layer, and our red layer. I mean, kick ass. So when you want a layer, you can go through that video and see what that looks like. I just said a bad word. I just realized it. Sorry, y'all. <laughs> this one should be the same thing. Um, we talked about this in the last video. The only thing that I would change is I would get rid of the golden lady here. So if I take away the leopard layer, you can see that the lady's going to get cut out a second time. Um, that's unneeded. Okay. You can just keep the boss as it is. What I'm getting at is you can subtract this from this and just have this, uh, the bot, the golden boss have open transparent holes where the print would go. Uh, overall though, this would work. I mean, you, you cut this out really, I mean, you could get rid of the lady at the bottom and it's not going to be a huge deal. Um, and it might even help you when you're layering things. So that works. Let's see how this one goes. Again, this one opened up just fine. The only thing with this is when this one cuts, it's going to move, uh, everything around because it's not um, welded. So one thing that you can do is just click on um, attach and it's going to attach everything together. And that way, when you click on make it, nothing will move. Okay. So that's a recommendation I have there. So um, for this, you have to click attach and other programs you might have to click on create compound path. That way things aren't moving around. Okay. Okay. So my daughter came in for a second, <laughs> scared the bejesus out of me. We got two more to go through. Um, okay. This one has everything separated the way that it needs to be separated. When I click on make it, let's see what happens. Everything's going to move to where it needs to move so that you're using as little, basically so you're conserving your vinyl. 
So just keep that in mind when you're creating files for Cricut Design Space that you do need to actively use the attach or um, compound path function for people to open up everything um, or make everything the way that it needs to be. But this one will work just fine with a few tweaks. And then the last one. Okay, yep, this would be a treat for me to cut. So I would end up going through the text and I would shift, I would basically so be selecting all of this stuff here. Shh. And I would be welding it so that way it all stays together and that's it. Now when I click on make it, um, it shouldn't be too bad. This would stay together. Obviously you have to figure out how you're going to get this all to layer appropriately, um, which is a bit of a pain, but totally doable. And again, I'll post the video to layering in Cricut Design Space above. So that's it. Just a few tips and tricks on things that you should and should not do. Um, hopefully this helped you during your design process, depending on what program you're using. The biggest thing for Cricut is to make sure that you have certain things welded or attached or sliced. Okay, those are the three main functions that you really need to focus on for Cricut Design Space. Most of the SVGs that you design will be fine for Silhouette Studio. If you have any questions or you want me to test out any of your files, just shoot me a message or drop me a, a post in the Facebook group or um, on this video and we'll get it to go for you guys. So hopefully you learned something. If this didn't get to the point that I needed to, let me know. Um, and again, if you haven't already, go ahead and click on like and subscribe below. That keeps me motivated to continue making these videos so y'all can grow your business and change your lives. I'll talk to you later.